Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So today I'm going to be doing a shout out. And it's it's a friend mail shout out. So um, there's a little bit of a story to this. So I'm gonna quickly tell you the story so you get to understand why I got to have this item that's in front of me that I absolutely love. So basically guys, um, if you remember last year, I did the TK Maxx Halloween and I went a little bit nuts for the um, globes and there was one in particular that I had my eyes on and I actually ordered it because Covid was, was very much in full swing then as it is now and I ordered it online thinking, do you know what, I don't really want to keep getting onto a bus, going into the, the town centre and even just like just going into shops in general. So I ordered it online and it was £12.99 so I thought it was a reasonable price, Globe, you know, they are a really good price on eBay, they're selling three, four, five times the amount because that's what they do on eBay. So I basically ordered it with a couple of other things and um, I didn't pay for the next day delivery because it was $6.99. I just paid the normal $3.99 shipping fees with Hermes. Now I know that Hermes are not that good when it comes to glass items. So I, I was hoping that TK Maxx would have the common sense to make sure that this was parceled correctly. Cut a long story short, the first one was smashed and the second one that I did next day delivery also smashed. They were reassuring me that there was plenty in stock not to worry. So I said, okay, I will go and order again. Sold out. So I never got my hands on that globe. And I remember watching a um, YouTuber at Halloween. And I think I'd only just started watching this YouTuber around about Halloween time. Um, because I love watching Halloween hauls. It's, it's probably the best time of the year where I just sit and binge watch YouTubers that go like Jed Lieber and all, all the other YouTubers that go mad for Halloween stuff. And I did notice this YouTuber and I started watching her content and I liked her content, but I liked her voice. She was very, very calming. And I thought, I really like this lady. And I did actually see her post on Spooky YouTubers, which is Ashley Gunnell's um, page where you can you can put links to your, your, your latest uploads or what have you and it gets you noticed and I did notice this lady post on there um, and I was like oh it's it's I won't say her first name because I don't know if she wants people to know her on her first name basis so I was like oh but then I got talking to her on um, Haunted Bats Lizzie's page that she has and we were talking about things that we're trying to get hold of and so forth um, but cut a long story short I started watching her channel and she did a TK Maxx haul and I was like I had this really gut feeling that it was it was the globe and she was like I'm so in love with this I had to have it I, she ordered it and she did where she collected it in store well I didn't know they did that so stupid me could have prevented all of this by just saying click and collect but like I said I, I was shielding I was shielding my my son who's homeschooled and I didn't want to keep going in and out all the time because not only am I putting myself at risk I was putting both my husband and my son at risk and I didn't want to be responsible for that so I didn't even think about looking for that option anyway she opened it on her channel and I was like so gutted but I'm happy that hers came in one piece but I was gutted because I was like I really wanted that globe and I shed a tear I'm not going to like deny the fact that I was really heartbroken and I was trying to get a collection to match this now I'm going to show you one thing that I got last year it actually needs cleaning to be honest with you it's been at the top of my unit but I got this um, the year before from TK Maxx and I absolutely love it. It did, I'm glad I took it down actually because I'm going to give it a clean now. And this is like, it reminds like a Harry Potter kind of theme, but it's sat in the spell book and the, the eyes light up and everything. And I actually went back as well to get this skull on the books because I wanted the set, I wanted the skull on the books and I wanted this globe and I didn't get any. So I was really, really gutted. So the channel that this has come from is Moon Witch's Lair. Now guys, I never ask for much on my channel, but one thing I will ask, because um, I'm shouting out this lady, I think she really does deserve this shout out. Nothing to do with what she sent me, the fact that I just think her content's good and I think her, her voice and her presence is really nice and calming and natural. 
and she's a nice real down-to-earth lady i've spoken to her on a level with this out kind of youtube or anything you know on messenger we've we've actually bonded a friendship and for that reason i'm happy to shout out her channel and i would like people to just go head over say i've come from rachel's or enigma's channel and she'll know straight away that you know that you you're giving back a little bit of something that i i'm asking you guys to do for me right so let's go on so moon witch's lair started her channel on april the 5th 2020 like i said last year so i didn't i didn't find her channel up until about october-ish maybe the beginning maybe a little bit just before october i found her channel and then i started watching her channel from then she does yankee candles and melts reviews on there i love her reviews on yankee candles being an ex yankee candle collector um she goes into so much detail with you know the 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 top notes and the the bottom notes and everything about it and she does a background to kind of go with the yankee candle <laughs> i don't know if it's just me who feels that but i'm like i really like this it really captivates what she's trying to get across the message that she's going to get across so yeah she does yankee candles she does melt she does all kinds of um i think she does bath and body works as well i think she's a little bit like me she likes a candle she likes a wax melts and she has done bubbles melters before as well and i think i influenced her to do that so i'm happy that you know something that i've done has influenced her as well um she does mindfulness challenge now that's something that she's doing new on her channel and i think she might have started that this year because of the whole covid situation um it's a jar i don't know if she's bought that jar or if she's she's put she has explained how she's done it but there's messages inside there and i think i, I thought it was every week she takes out a challenge and she does that challenge through the week and so forth really good idea and i think a lot of people need that kind of thing right now and um her voice is calming as well but makes it even better she does a lot of um gothic alternative homeware decor um she doesn't do clothing or makeup or anything like that but she definitely does a lot of decor uh, around the home such things as like this blanket or the things that you see around my room that's all gothic and alternative she buys that and she'll review it and so forth she also does vlogs and she does a bit of asmr now i used to do a bit of asmr on my channel way 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 back in 2019 and i really enjoyed doing it but it started to get a little bit too um in depth the 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 requests were getting a bit too um much for my mind to to kind of justify if that makes sense i didn't know if i was doing it right it started putting me on a little bit of a a paranoid spiral so i ended up knocking that on the head um as much as my asmr is music guys so i couldn't understand their asmr but i can understand my asmr but i've got nothing against anything about asmr everybody's got different triggers but i think she's she's diving into that now and having a look she's um wants to introduce like the spiritual side of youtube and i'm all for that guys i'm on my own spiritual journey at the minute and it's down a spiritual journey of a norseman paganism um celtics that kind of thing vikings and i've literally just bought some books for my audio i won't say it's now because it'll start going off a month i'm actually in the middle of listening to some norse mythology um and that's something that i'm going to do for myself why are we in lockdown now? I'm going to I'm gonna do that as a hobby. But I want to do a Vikings mythology kind of altar. Not so much the witchcraft altar, which I'm kind of steered to at the minute. But I'm going to try and pull that back. If you hear any background noise, I'm sorry. It's Zach. He's got the computer on really loud. I have told him to turn it down. Um, yeah, so she does lots of spiritual, spooky and scented. She's a very laid back lady, very lovely, a very kind lady, I've got to say that. But again, I'm just going to show you what she sent me. So guys, she first contacted me. It, she, she contacted me and said, um, there's a seller that she's found, I think it was on Facebook, that's selling all TK Maxx Halloween stuff. They must have got it or was getting rid of it, I don't know. She says, and, and this item's on there if you're interested. She sent me the link. And I really wanted to get it, but it was like, I didn't believe that, you know, trying again, third time look it. I wasn't, I didn't want to risk it. And I didn't have the money at the time because, you know, money's tight. It was coming up to Christmas, you know, I have four children. I've got three grandkids. I just couldn't simply 
could not afford it. I'd kind of pulled back from buying things for my channel content as well. So um, she messaged me, I think about a week later, and she said, um, don't, I don't want you to be offended, but how do you feel about me getting it for you as a thank you for supporting me and my channel and stuff? And I was like, you don't need to thank me. You know, you don't need to do that. Honest to God, you don't need to. If you do do that, I'll have to do it back because I don't believe in one-sided things. That's just my beliefs and everybody else is different. But if somebody's got something for me, I'll have to give it back. It might not be straight away, but eventually I will give back in one way or another. And everybody that I've done friend mail for, you know, I've said to them, you know, if you, if you send me anything, I will have to send you something back. That's who I am and that. So I did make that clear to her and she was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine, don't worry. And she said, when it comes, I'll check if it's intact first, because I don't want to get your hopes up. If it comes and it's all intact, I'll get your address and then we'll go from there. So some weeks, I think maybe a week or two had passed and um, I, I, to be honest, I did forget about it. And she contacted me and said, it's arrived, it's all intact, I need your address. Gave her my address, I trust this lady. You know, I don't just give my address out to anybody. I, I bond a, a friendship with this person first. I have been fooled in the past by that guy, so let's just say it will never happen again. Um, and I did send friend mail back for that reason, and that's a whole different story. And I'm not going to go into that on my channel anymore, but um, yeah. If anybody does want to know about that, you can quite happily inbox me and I will tell you about that. But it's something that I've, I've left in 2020 and it can stay in 2020 for all I care. On with the story. So I did trust this lady with my address, bear that in mind. And um, that was that. She did message me, I think it was about a week after. We'd gone into that big full lockdown again, which we are still currently in. And she said that her uh, post office had shut for a little while, so she, she couldn't get it to me. And I told her, it's no bother, no rush. If it takes six months, don't worry about it. That's who I am, do you know what I mean? She didn't have to send me this anyway. But I did say, don't worry about it. Take as long as you need. Don't put yourself at risk for me. I did make that very, very clear. She said, don't worry, thank you. I'll get in pack to you as soon as it's sorted. Um, and then she messaged me and we had a bit of a chat and I, she knew that it was my birthday coming up, uh, maybe a week or two coming up to it. Because I said that I didn't know if I wanted to do what I got for my birthday because you'd always get a negative Annie who will just um, bring you down or call it bragging. And it's not the kind of thing I want to do on my channel. But, you know, everybody I spoke to said, nah, 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 loads of people do it. People, some people hate it, some people love it. You can't please everybody on YouTube. And, you know, fair dues. So I know I've, I've got someone who dislikes it. That's down to them. I don't really care about that. You know, it's all part of the algorithm as far as I'm concerned now. I've gone past that. I left all that in 2020 as well, guys. That whole um, people getting to me. <sighs> don't bother me anymore. So she contacted me and said, it's coming to you. And I was like, oh, you naughty, you should have waited. And she was like, no, no, you know, it was open again. So I got it sent out to you and she secured it really, really well. Let me know when it comes. Um, within two, three days, guys, it was there. And it was this massive box. And I was like, no, nah, this can't be it. No, nah, it can't be it. This is quite big, this box. It's really, really heavy. So I ripped it open. I couldn't wait, I ripped it open. Now, let me just say that she'd wrapped it a box in a box in a box. And each time it was wrapped in a box, there was paper, there was bubble wrap, there was this, that stuff you get from Revolution now that's packaged, that brown packaged stuff around it. Put it this way, yeah, there was no way in the world that this was getting broken in transit. It was so wrapped up and then it was just, just sat in the middle of the box, just so securely wrapped. And I opened it and it was intact and I was like, yes! And straight away, I admired it for a while, felt dead chuffed, a uh, little like emotional that, you know, this lady's done this for me. She didn't have to. And I was like made up. So guys, let me just show you. So this is the globe. This is the globe that I've tried to get twice and failed miserably. 
and happy to say I've got it now. Now she owns this as well and you can go on her channel and if you go into the Halloween section, you'll see when she got this and you'll see my comment going, I'm not jealous, honest. <laughs> but it got here, it arrived in time. Actual price of this is 12 99 I do remember it being that price in TK Maxx. It does sit the opposite side of this, which is the thing, and I've got a, a, like a light in the middle that silhouettes them both and I absolutely love it and I will try and get the other one Halloween time if we have Halloween this year but please go and check out Moon Witch's Lair guys she's a lovely lovely lady I'll, everything will be in the links description box below go down there have a look I will I will link her social media as far as I can I can see where, where I found her and stuff and you can get to see what she does but She's a lovely lady. She deserved a shout out all of her own. So this is for you. I nearly said your name. Mwah. Thank you. Uh, it, it meant a lot. Now I have gone ahead and got something for her. I've not yet sent it because I've got a lot of birthdays in March and April. But like I said, I'll keep to my promise. I've packaged it ready. All I need to do is get her address. Hopefully she trusts me enough to know that I'm not a psychopath or anything and send her this parcel that I've got for her and I think she will enjoy what I've sent her because I know that she likes this kind of thing. All right guys, take care, that is me done. I have created a kind of look today. So I got these trousers, they were £5.20, super, super well priced. Let's stand up so you can have a look. Um, leather look trousers, I do own a few pair but these are more comfortable. And I got this this top as well, which has pockets in, which damn, I love it. And I've just paired it off with a Killstar um, crop top. As you know, I don't like to show my mid drift off, so I always put something over the top. And I just put this belt on. I got my new boots. You guys have probably not seen these boots on me. Ah, my back. But <laughs> um, they're a bit weird, guys, the boots. I'm not chilling with the boots at the minute. They're very, very big, and I can see all the way down my socks and everything. So I'm not too sure I'm overly keen on the boots, but like my husband said, can't send them back now. We've changed them slightly, we've put grips on them and everything, but I've got, I'll grow into them. I do love them, guys. They're absolutely lovely. Um, and they, these are demonia. Now, I've not, I'm not going to be doing any clothes reviews or shoe reviews now this year, but if you do want to see what I got for my birthday in depth, I have said this in the video, like any clothes that I got. Let me know, I have worn a few of the items and I've got to say, every bit of clothing that I got and, and footwear, perfect, love it, brilliant. Okay, that is it guys, Moon Witch's Lair. I probably would have stuck a few things as we were talking, like that's what I do, um, her picture and what have you, her, her profile. Um, but thank you so much, um, mm -mm, you know who you are and um, I will treasure this forever forever and i hope next time i do this i'm going to be sensible and collect it in store that's one advice i can say guys don't trust hermes with glass products and don't definitely don't um, trust dpd either i don't think couriers are very good with glass items to be honest so yeah all right take care guys stay safe look after each other stay spooky stay weird stay strange all right guys take care bye for now get up Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.